What does it mean when people talk about download my codes? This video is part of my Demystifying the Inner Work series, which is centered around taking these abstract fluffy concepts that are floating around in the spiritual and personal development community and then landing them here on earth in a practical manner so that you can take these powerful concepts and actually apply them into your life and business. Yay! So codes, what the heck are they? When people are talking about on the internet, they're like, okay, here are my codes on how to make more money or here are my codes on like love and relationship. What does it mean? So the really super simplified version of this is that codes are just wisdom, okay? And where this term comes from, from my understanding and also from the way that I've downloaded it, is that think of it as, um, I don't know if you've seen the movie The Matrix, which uh, portrays this quite well, but think of a computer program, a computer program that is meant to earn more money or a computer program that is meant to um, match people who are attracted to each other. So this program is coded. You have all these codes that essentially make up the computer program for it to be able to do what it does. And so when we're thinking about codes in terms of human terms, we think about what are some of the programs that people are running that are actually amazing. So think of, for example, a business coach who has a really healthy money mindset uh, attitude and she's earning effortlessly and flawlessly. And when we actually look behind the scenes into the subconscious mind, what she's doing is she has created a program in her operational system she has created a program where there's a set of beliefs that it, around like money comes in abundance, money is easy to come by, um, it's easy to earn, uh, you know, as long as I put in strategy, like I will get results. And so there's essentially a series of codes that she had to download in order for her to now have a program that's running on autopilot in her subconscious that allows her to just see money as something easy to make. Similar if let's look at a somebody who has really really incredible uh, romantic relationships in their life somewhere along the, the line they have a program around their relationship which is essentially like yeah relationships are easy and the people that I meet are um, you know they're gonna respect me and they're gonna love me and they're gonna take care of me contrasted with what we call a dysfunctional program which is essentially a program that's sitting in your subconscious that is hurting you, which is would be around like, oh, good, pe good partners are hard to come by, like relationships are difficult, they have to be challenging, they always end up in divorce. That is a dysfunctional program. An empowering program is actually like a series of beliefs and patterns and stories that you're telling yourself that are actually allowing you to get a desired result in your life in a really easeful way. So um, it's really important when we're looking at, you know, learning from people who have codes is really to look at, number one, what is the program that they're running? So again, let's use money as an example. The business coach that you're considering hiring, okay, they seem to have a really healthy money mindset um, program that is running, which is going to mean that they're going to have some good codes for you, but also the ability to discern whether the person has, is holding the kind of wisdom that you want to learn from. And again, wisdom, codes, okay? So you're looking at somebody that you wanna learn from, or, uh, and it can be a coach, it can be a book you wanna read, a movie, or whatever, whatever it, it may be. And as you are perceiving this program that you're like, oh, I wanna learn from this, it's really important to number one, um, just ask questions and just ask, like, is this person, are these uh, codes inherent? or were they learned? Because for example, with money mindset, a lot of people had to unlearn their old conditioning and reprogram their mind in order to have a healthy relationship with money. And some people just grew up in an environment where they always had a healthy relationship with, with money. Therefore, the programs that they create around money are just, it's part of who they are. Now, that's not to say that it's better to learn from one person than the other, but it is important to consider whether the way that somebody was able to achieve those codes uh, actually aligns with you and what it is that you need. So um, for example, if you are looking to learn from a business coach and to learn how to make more money from a business coach, 
a business coach with a healthy money mindset is going to have some codes for you. And is, are those the kind of codes that you want to acquire versus someone else? Now, another thing around, uh, around codes is also knowing that you can discern and you can pick and choose which codes you pick up and which ones you put down. Just because somebody has a lot of codes for you around money, relationship, health, what, finance, whatever, just because they have codes doesn't mean that everything they have to teach you is something you're just going to take and run with because not all of it might actually serve you or support you in this stage of your journey. So to summarize it, when we're talking about like, hey, want to come and download my codes or like I have some codes for you, uh, what it really means is that I have some wisdom <laughs> that I want to share with you around this specific topic. And this wisdom, these codes that I have around this topic are what make up the program that I'm running that are, are allow, is allowing me to have this result. So think of it just as computers. A computer with a functional program and code that works is going to generate the results that it's intended to result. A dysfunctional program with tons of bugs or tons of issues is not going to get the result that it's generated to result. So when you're looking out there and people are talking about like, learn my codes, download my codes, all it means is, hey, I have some wisdom that I've acquired and uh, would you like to learn it? And the codes, think of it as almost like, yeah, like if you're in the matrix, like the little numbers, let me give you some of my code that I have acquired that I have know here's some code for you to take on and for you to run into your own program. And the caveat though is, is that if you're collecting all of this code, but you're still not essentially um, it, making, like take, paying attention and taking care of the program that you're running and like letting go of the old code and letting go of the things that are dysfunctional and don't serve you anymore, you're gonna be acquiring all these codes from people, but you're still not gonna be able to run your own successful program because you haven't done the work to like make sure that that code actually belongs where it needs to belong. So just because someone has a piece of wisdom for you doesn't mean that it's gonna snap right away and you're gonna be like, oh, I get it. Sometimes it might lay dormant for a while. It might be years before you're like, oh my God, I paid this coach like five years ago to say this thing and finally I get what they're saying. And so um, be discerning when it comes to learning people's codes. Remember that all it is is that they have downloaded some wisdom that now you can learn from, but it's still up to you to take those codes, to take that wisdom and apply it to your life in a way that works for you and for your goals. And it is still your responsibility to take a look at your dysfunctional programs the set, and by that I mean the set of beliefs, patterns and stories that you are running in your subconscious that are not serving you anymore, they're actually preventing you from getting what you want on a subconscious level. It's still up to, do, to you to do that work, look at it, resolve it, and then start implementing the codes that you're getting from people around you and actually being able to use them. Think of it as like, there are all the, there's all these little keys that you're acquiring, but you need to like know which doors they open for you to actually get the result. Does that make sense? So continue, go out there, continue to receive the codes from um, mentors, from people around you, allow yourself to receive those codes. But remember, for that to activate change and growth within you, that's up to you and that's up to you doing the quote unquote inner work, which I will continue to explain throughout the series. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you have any questions for me, drop them below. Let me know uh, if there's anything that's confusing, that you're more curious about learning. Maybe I'll create another video about it. And if this is the kind of work that you really want to go deep into, I'm telling you, this is the reason why to join my program. I have my Master Your, Your Story program that's opening up in about a month's time. And this is the first thing I do is I take you through the subconscious process and how is it that you can actually identify what's going on in your subconscious so that you can clear and drop whatever is actually keeping you in those dysfunctional programs and actually rewrite the program so that it's empowering and serving you and discover what your own codes are that you can share with your ideal audience. Because when not only it's not about acquiring other people's codes, which is a powerful skill in and of itself, is the ability to learn from people, take their codes and turn it into your own thing. But it's also about recognizing what are the codes that are already within you that people are actually probably attracted to you for, your audience and your clients are already coming to you for, but because you're not aware of what your own codes are that you can share with people, you're not able to actually like put them out there in a way that attracts even more people or in a way that you're feeling like, wow, these are my codes, I'm super confident, I'm really clear, which is going to 
you know, come through in your messaging, it's going to come through in your marketing, and it's going to come through in how you engage with your audience. So if you're interested in that, just send me a DM. We are now pre-enrolling. Uh, you can also send me a DM if you want to explore this work on a one-on-one private setting. All right, thank you so much. Hope this helps.